So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another DAX Friday, it's a new DAX function every Friday. In today's DAX Fridays, we're going to talk about converting text into dates using DAX. Why would you do that? Yes, sometimes you just have to do it because you have a direct query or a live connection or you only have that column in the model for whatever reason. So I'm going to show you. It is not as easy as it looks, actually. There's a lot of gotcha, so let's get started. Let me show you. Okay, guys, so we're going to try to convert the text into dates using DAX and using a function called date value. And date value says here that you put the date as a text, and it says that when converting the value, it uses the regional settings of the model. So if you have month, date, year, then uh, this will be the first, the 8th of January, right? Now, let me show you. I have, just so you believe me, I have as a regional settings for this model, English, United States English, okay? So I have here what I believe is American date. Americans have month, day, year. So this will be the 12th of December, the 1st of December 2020, okay? So I am going to create a column and I'm going to do it as a calculated column so you see, but you can do this on the fly, obviously. So, wait, sorry, let's do it again. Um, date conversion. And then we're going to put um, date value which is the function that we just look at and then you just put the column i mean there's no difficulty you might think so this returns the 12th of january 12th of january that is european format even though my regional settings are set to american i'm getting the european format which is not intuitive at all. Now, let me continue reading here. It says, the regional settings are initially determined by the application and computer when the model was created. Because I am in Europe, it is ignoring, I think, for what I can see, it is ignoring that my regional settings on Power BI are American, and it's giving me the dates, European dates. Wow. So, European dates, as you can imagine here, I have the first of, you know, day, month, year. So I have the first of December, which is correctly. Swedish version, you have year, month, date, and then it does it correctly. So this is the first of December, 2020. Works too, wonderful. Now, let me show you SQL. I call it SQL because, you know, a lot of times dates in SQL are stored as text. So I have here the Swedish format again, I have year, month, day, and if you use date value, it's going to give you an error. It won't be able to translate that because it doesn't know where to start or when to end. It needs the dashes, you know, at least to get a hint as to what is going on. So that won't work. You need to do it the old fashioned Excel way of extracting the year, extracting the month and the day, okay? And that will give you the European or whatever. Now, now you, you're in charge of how it gets formatted. So this is probably the easiest way to actually make sure that you get what you get. Now, I was really curious. It's like, what happens if I mixed all types of dates? What will it do? So I have a here a taste. I have the, what in my eyes are American. Now it could be American or uh, European the European format and then the Swedish format. And as you can see, the two first ones are converted to Europe and the third one, which is Europe, is converted to Europe. So it's actually giving us dates, but all the dates are European. But how about I put an American date here that cannot be European? Let me show you. I was not expecting the result at all. So I go in here. Now I'm going to put, remember, Americans they put month, day, year. So I'm going to put a month, that is 12th, a day, that is 24th, and the year. Now, this can never be a European date because 
Europeans have day month. There is not a day. There is not a month 24. So this is for sure an American day. There is no question about it. I was hoping, I was expecting that it will give me, what would you expect? I'm going to tell you right now, but I was expecting actually, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. I was expecting an error. I, I was thinking, oh, you, you're in Europe, you're just an American date. It gives me an American date. <laughs> So by default, if it is European, it gives you European dates. Otherwise, if it finds an American date, it gives you an American date. Just like that. Okay. So now you know. Very careful. Very, very, very careful using date value. I would recommend you do it like the Excel way so you have control about what's going on. And if something is wrong, you'll get an error. So these will never happen because there is no month 24, okay? This is all for today. Enjoy your vacations. And I'll see you again on Monday with another Power Query video. So take care. Bye-bye.